guys, it's Morgan. So I'm sorry, um, but I had recorded me getting the hamster, um, like going to pick her up, um, but I didn't have enough time to pull out the camera and actually record um, me getting her or anything. Um, but I do have her, and also I lost some of the footage from on our way um, in the car, but that's okay um, because I have her here right now. Um, her cage is right beside Presley's. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you her. Is I'm assuming that she's about um, four or five months old um, because the lady did purchase her from the pet store. Um, so I will get into that in a little bit. But her name is Sierra May. Uh, and she is a long-haired Syrian, and she loves her wheel. She's been running on it for a while. And it is a comfort wheel, and I silenced it. And you can go check my video out about that when I have it up. Um, but here she is, and I'll do a quick cage tour. Um, and, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the cage tour, and then I'll do some more details about her. Um, so you may want to sit back and get some popcorn, because this is probably going to be quite a bit of a long video anyone mentions anything yes I am aware that this is not the minimum cage size so this is a 10 gallon and the minimum cage size for a hamster in the US <clears throat> and Canada it's 360 square inches which is a 20 gallon tank um, <clears throat> but this is her temporary cage I will be getting her a larger cage in the future so do not worry um, so uh, we're gonna start in the front where she is right now. Um, this is her 12 inch Katie comfort wheel. It is magenta and I modified it to make it silent. I will have a video up about that later. Um, her bedding is Aspen shavings, which are um, safe for all small animals. Um, cedar and pine are unsafe. Um, and then this is a wood chew. I got a big, um, a bag of six chews for her at PetSmart for $2.99. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you the other chews right now. The other chews we got, this is a loofah chew, and I've just stuck the two little wooden balls in there just to make it easier. And then she also got a woven grass ball. Um, it's really just a wooden ball with grass woven on the outside of it. So back to the cage tour. I wanted to mention she'll be using Presley's old water bottle and it is being uh, sterilized in boiling water, or uh, hot water right now. And I also used antibacterial soap on it. Um, so that she will get this once it is done. And I'm going to stick it on sided tape since we don't have Velcro at the moment. But when we do get Velcro, I will be using the Velcro. Whoa, that was really, really hot. That was definitely not very smart. So anyways, and then over here is all oh, she's sleeping in her little house. Over here is her second shoe. Oh no, she's right there. Duh. Um, over here is her second shoe. It is a woven wooden ball. Um, she hasn't been chewing on it much. She did do a few little bites here and there. Um, but other than that, not really that much. And also I sprinkled some mealworms around in her cage. They are freeze dried and they are safe for both hamsters and hedgehogs. Um, that's all I know of. Um, but if you want to see if they're safe for your animal, go ahead and check on a forum as I only know really about hamsters and hedgehogs. And then right here is a rock um, and her water bottle will be going right here. But that is to, for two reasons. And one of those is to trim down her nails. And the second is to help her get up to her water bottle. And I'm feeling really out of breath right now. All right. <clears throat> so over here is her food and I will show you what I feed her. Her diet consists of Oxbow Essentials Hamster Durable Food and Katie Freeze Dry Mealworms as well as a few, um, a little bit of Timothy Hay. Um, and then back behind the food bowl is her um, edible log um, hideaway and in there is just some torn up toilet paper and some of her regular aspen bedding. And then on the outside, she has this thermometer sticker and I'm not really sure if you can see it very well. Um, but basically you stick it on something and whatever it is sticking onto, it will tell the temperature of. So it is about 74 degrees Fahrenheit in her on the cage, on the uh, surface of the cage. Um, like I said, it's a 10 gallon glass aquarium. Hi Sierra. Hi baby. So like I said, her name is Sierra May. And, <clears throat> oh, she's got, oh, that's pretty cute. Her ears are pink on the inside. I thought they were all gray. Anyways, but like I said, the owner said she purchased her from the pet store. <clears throat> so I'm guessing she's about four months old. Um, that's just an estimate. This is not her real age. Um, 
But just to make it easier, I will make up her birthday. And her made up birthday is going to be January 17th, and that is one month before Presley's. Um, <clears throat> but she is younger than Presley. Um, Presley um, just turned two in February. Um, so I will do the math um, and then um, edit about how much older he is than her on the screen right now. Um, and I did provide uh, one or two inches of bedding in some areas and then er other areas I provided about three or four um, because hamsters are natural burrowers. Oh, she's falling asleep. She's so cute. Hey, Sierra. I don't think she's yet figured out that the little edible log is her um, her little house. Oh, she's so cute. So I'm going to kind of form a little nest in her edible log and then I will put her in her little house. That way she can feel more secure. She didn't want to go in the hideaway. She's really active right now. <clears throat> but I didn't have any Velcro and we didn't have enough to get a water bottle holder because we only had $13 with us at the moment. Um, so I just took some of this heavy duty tape and I just taped it on there. <clears throat> and she is definitely drinking because I can see the little air bubbles and I can hear the ball going. Um, but she hasn't yet touched her chew toys very much. Um, so hopefully she will start touching those. And she hasn't touched her food yet. Um, I think that's either because she's full or this is a new diet for her. Um, but I know that she will eat eventually because hamsters um, can go a, a little while without food or water. Um, but they won't let themselves starve. They will come out um, and drink and eat at some point. She will figure out that that is her food. I know she will. Hamsters are extremely smart. <clears throat> um, so yeah. Um, but I tried to feed her a mealworm, and I don't think she's ever had a mealworm, um, because she didn't want to eat it, so it's just sitting on that little rock at the moment. Momento, if you guys can see it, I don't think you can really see it that well. Um, but yeah, she really seems to be enjoying her cage. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> she did give me a little nip. I don't know if you can see it very well. Hold on. Let me just focus this. There we go. She gave me a little nip. You can see the little... But marks right there and there. Um, <clears throat> she did draw a little bit of blood, but I can't blame her. She is very scared. New sights, new smells, new scents. <laughs> new sights, new smells, new tastes, new everything. So I can't imagine why she would be scared. She was in a little critter trail with another Syrian hamster. Um, and she had Carefresh, a tiny wheel, a different food, a different house, a different water bottle. So pretty much everything in this cage is new to her. Um, so I don't blame her for being scared at all. She is so beautiful and I love her so much. Um, and I'm going to give her the best life that I can possibly give her. Um, she totally deserves it. She's been through quite a lot. Um, she was purchased at a pet store. Then she was put in a critter trail with another Syrian. And Syrian hamsters are solitary. Um, so she has been through quite a lot. And... Um, I felt like it was the right thing to rescue her and take her in. Um, and I wanted a hamster anyways. Oh, she's behind the wheel. Whoopsies. There you are. Hi, baby. She likes to uh, go behind her wheel for whatever reason. Um, but like I said, um, her made-up birthday is um, January 17th. Um, <clears throat> and her cage is right next to Presley's. But they cannot get to each other. She's in a the last tank that she cannot get out of and he is in a wire cage that he cannot get out of. Um, and actually, the, that is the reason I did not put her in a wire cage, because I didn't want her to smell him <clears throat> or run the risk of her climbing and getting into his cage and then him coming out to attack her and her not being able to get out or anything. Um, I just didn't want to take that chance. It's much too risky. Always put your pet, both, well, in my case, always put both of your pet safety first, but you always want to put your pet safety first um, so yeah, oh, she's right there. She's grooming right now. Um, but yeah, um, so her cage is right next to Presley's, but like I said, they cannot get to each other. Um, they are away from each other 100%. Um, and she's so tiny that she can fit under the wheel. There's about an inch of space and she's very, very flexible. Um, <clears throat> but I do have to give her a few days before I can start handling her um, without her getting un uncomfortable. Um, she is being quite active, which is kind of surprising because it is daytime right now and hamsters are nocturnal. 
Um, but another reason that I use this tank is because hedgehogs and Syrian hamsters and Chinese, but she's not a Chinese hamster, she's a Syrian hamster. They're both solitary. And so I definitely wanted to separate them and reduce the amount of smell of each other the best I could. <clears throat> Presley's actually sleeping in his igloo right now. Um, you could probably fit like 30 or 40, maybe even 50 of her in there. That's how big his igloo is. You can fit like quite a few of him in there too. Um, but she is very, very small. Excuse me. I just yawned and hiccuped and burped at the same time. That was really uncomfortable. <clears throat> Anyways, she is a very small Syrian. She is only approximately, I would say, four inches long. Um, <clears throat> so she's definitely a small Syrian. Um, no, more than four. Um, at the most five. Well, hold on, let me get my ruler. I'm just taking a rough estimate, so here's about four. I would say five and a half inches long. Um, so she is a pretty small Syrian. The average Syrian size is about six and a half to seven inches. <clears throat> so she is quite a small Syrian. Um, I don't know how much she weighs yet. We will measure that later. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. So she did use the bathroom in her wheel once. Um, that's okay because she is a rodent. So it's very easy to clean her cage um, because her feces and urine does not smell, which means poop and pee. Um, so it won't be bother me too much. Um, and also, um, uh, what was I say? Um, <laughs> also, um, what was I gonna say? Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's also very easy to clean because her feces is very, very small, whereas Presley's is quite large because he's an insectivore, so his feces is more like human feces. Um, so it's definitely much harder to clean his cage or wheel or litter box or whatever. And I'll show you the difference between his feces and her feces. So you can see a little bit of her feces right there. It's extremely small um, right there. It's not it's about half a centimeter large, and I'll show you Presley's. A good comparison considering he likes to bury his feces sometimes, uh, but you can kind of tell the difference. Hers is like 10 times smaller, whereas his is 10 times larger. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get back to Sierra though, because this is what this video, this is, that's what this video is about. How do you feel about being an internet star, Sierra? Oh, she's sleeping right there. I'm not sure why she doesn't go and sleep in her house because she knows how to get inside of it. I showed her how. Um, so I think I'm going to take maybe a little bit of the bedding out of the house. That might be the reason um, because she can't well get into there. Because she can't get into there very well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I did clear quite a bit of space out of there for her. Um, that way she can have more room. <laughs> She's very small. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for this video. I'm probably going to take her out of the cage and let her, actually no, I'll leave her be. Um, she's very tired. Um, she fell asleep quite a few times on the way here and she's sleeping right there right now. Um, but yeah, I hope she does eventually get to chew on her toys and eat her food and learn to go in her new house. Um, so yeah, I think that wraps up this video and I'm so sorry it was very long. So like I said, I'm really sorry the video lasts so long, uh, but I did need to go over a few things and welcome Sierra May. Um, so if you guys wouldn't mind commenting down below, welcome to Sierra, um, that would be really cool. Um, don't forget to like this video and comment down below what you think of her um, and whatever. Um, and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. Um, and also turn on your notifications so you can be notified when we have an uploaded video in the future. We love you guys. Bye.